Hey guys, I, I invented this. Good training technique uh, device for making your technique better. Uh, just overall, chin down, hands up. If you ever watch my fights, you know that's not how I do it, but this is what you should be doing. You take this little device, you put it on your chin. You keep it there, so your chin stays down while you're hitting, while you're shadow boxing. A lot of people flare their elbows when they're hitting too. So you can tuck one under to practice when you're moving around, throwing your jab, you're not flaring your elbows. If it drops, you only push-ups. That's the way it goes. Chin down, hands up, keep everything tight. So a nice little training device. Get your game better, technique better. You got it here at CMC. Uh -oh. So as you can see, they have the chin down, hands up device locked in place on the chin as they're shadow boxing, moving around. Train the muscles in the neck to tuck, shrugging the shoulders so you can keep it pinched in better. And just working on good focus, good technique, keeping your chin down so when you do get punched, you get punched in the forehead, not in the face and the mouth. And just keep it chin down, hands up, nice and tight. Adjust when you have to, but you'll learn with feedback from it whether you're keeping your chin down and locked in place or not. So again, here they go, shadow boxing with the chin down, hands up device under their chin. They've also got one under their right elbow, learning to keep their elbow in, protecting their body from kicks, from punches. Learn to squeeze that in. So as you're punching with your left hand, you're keeping your right hand up on your cheek and your elbow in, protecting your body. If you drop it, reset, go again. So now they do an interactive drill, one for one. One person punches and kicks. You got the chin down, hands up under your chin, and you're learning to move in and out, block, punch, while your chin's staying tucked so you don't drop the training device. So again, the purpose isn't on how hard you hit, it's working on your focus of keeping that chin tucked as you're loaded and you're moving. You drop, reset, go again. This is all feedback on how your technique is proper. So we have Evan has the device under his chin and one in his elbow, working on his defensive posture, keeping his hands up, elbows in, protecting against punches and kicks, and just be able to move in and out without losing the device. Chin down, hands up, elbows in tight, especially against that liver shot. Dylan throws a liver shot to the body, you gotta keep that elbow in. Throws a left kick to the liver, gotta keep that elbow in, gotta protect you. Chin down. The bad thing we do is we lift our chin as we back up usually. That's when we're most vulnerable to getting hit. So keeping that chin tucked as we move out and as we move in. You wanna shoot for a double leg, you gotta have your chin down. You don't wanna have your lift your head up as you shoot in. Now we have a sparring round going on. Again, focus on Keep your chin down, squeezing your shoulders up, but working your technique, sparring with it down, keep your chin tucked. Every time you drop it, it hits the floor, it's gonna cost you 10 push-ups at the end of the round. So chin tucked, keep moving around, guard nice and tight. Again, working technique, it's not about winning the sparring match, but working your technique with control. Readjust and go again.